What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Soul Break. Thanks for stopping by my channel. So, um, I recently had my second vaccine shot and I was feeling a little under the weather, but you know, now I'm feeling a lot better, so we're back on track now and I do have a lot of sneakers to review um that that have been just sitting around in my room. So, uh today we're going to start off with this pair of Air Force 1s. Uh this is actually a very special pair uh for me because, you know, uh, this is called the Women's Air Force One uh, Hangul Day. What Hangul is, uh, is our national character, uh, the letters, and these were released on October 9th, uh, which is uh, Hangul Day created to commemorate the foundation of our uh, national, you know, characters and letters uh, in South Korea. And I believe this model only released in South Korea. I might be wrong. It might have released in some other Asian countries, but I, I highly doubt that. I think these only released in our country. And uh, basically these did sell out. Um, I think a lot of people are kind of like keeping the, uh, keep this piece uh, in their collection, you know, as like a kind of like a, a commemorative piece or whatever. And, uh, you know, I think it is an interesting shoe. Uh, so let's just dive right in without further ado. So basically the entire shoe is kind of, you know, this kind of sail or cream color. Um, at least for the women's pair. This actually released alongside a men's pair, which is uh, done in like all black. Um, and I am going to do a review on that as well. So stay tuned for that. But anyways, this has a lot of cream and sail uh, used on it. And as you can see, the swoosh is done in this very nice, uh, smooth, cream colored leather. And you can see the different colored stitchings. You can see some white. Uh, yellow, black, and blue, and red here. So it, it's very interesting that you know Nike kind of switched around the the colors of the stitches, and that's a really really interesting detail. Now the side panel is where things get crazy. Uh, it's they've got this kind of like satin feeling. I'm not really sure if this is satin or nylon, but it it does have that kind of really nice silk kind of looking uh, texture to it. Done in this, I would say like this kind of like. Um, some sort of like, you know, a uh, shiny beige or cream colored material. And on top of that, you got these uh, Korean characters embroidered onto the side panel. And this is supposed to spell out uh, just do it in Korean. And I think that's a very, very um, uh, interesting touch. You know, um, we rarely see Korean characters on a Nike shoe. And so, you know, it, it's very special to, to um, have this sort of model. Um, and then you've got some other, you know, characters uh, emphasized in blue, red, and yellow, as you can see here. And here towards the front, you see more of that cream color leather covering the toe cap area here. And I can say that, you know, the QC is really, really nice. I think they did a, put, they did put a lot of attention into this. And the leather itself is quite nice. And then on the toe box, you see more of that kind of um, uh, that like, you know, shiny. I, I don't know. I, I'm not really sure what this cloth or like fabric material material is, but it's pretty smooth and it does feel silky, even though it's not silk. Uh, but, you know, you get the point. And then this is also supposed to spell out, you know, just do it as well as Nike in Korean. So, you know, we see more of that Korean characters uh, embroidered onto the shoe. And you can see a lot of the embroidery. It, it, they did really, really take this model a, a, a mile, you know, a, the extra mile and, you know, put in a lot of, you know, attention to detail. And then here towards the center, you see that, you know, uh, little mini Nike swoosh embroidered in that kind of, you know, uh, shiny uh, beige or cream color threads. And then here on the center part, you got the factory laced uh, white laces kind of choked up there. And then here for the eye stay area, you see more of that beige or cream colored leather once again. And, and it is very smooth to the touch. And then here on the tongue, uh, the white nylon tongue, you see that tongue tab with Nike Air Air Force One spelled out uh, in these different colors, red, blue, and yellow, and black. So it's a very, very um, colorful uh, detail that has been added to the tongue tab. Um, and I think it does make the shoe pop. And then on the inside, you got this kind of perforated uh, mesh material for the ins uh, the sock liner. And then 
the the insole i think the insole looks really really cool it's that kind of you know um that beige colored insole with the nike air text um printed in black and then here on the back side um <clears throat> you see this nice heel tab and that white leather with the nike air text embossed into or debossed into the the leather in this uh, cream colored text and then here you see another piece of fabric attached to the heel counter uh, once again you see the red uh, blue and yellow and white and and black I believe I haven't really checked but I believe this is supposed to represent you know the you know the colors that we normally see on hanbok which is a, a traditional garment uh, that dates back to like you know hundreds of years in our uh, in South Korean history, but that's just my guess. I haven't really done research on this model, but that's that seems like the theme behind it. So you know um, you might want to look it up if you're really interested. Anyways, uh, here on the back side you see more of that cream color leather as well. The medial side is basically the same deal, but you you could notice that you know the placement of the letter are are, are quite different. So you can assume that each pair is going to have you know different placements of the embroidery which is really pretty special because you get a uni uh, unique pair uh, when you purchase this and then on the midsole you got that really really uh, aged looking cream colored midsole uh, which we typically see on Air Force Ones personally I'm not a fan of that aged look on this particular model I think it would have been much cleaner if it if they had kept the white midsole as usual but you know it is what it is and then you see the air text in white and then the outsole is your typical uh, cream or actually a uh, clean white uh, Air Force One outsole with the circular traction pad on the four foot area. So yeah, it's, it's a very cool pair. And then here um, on the other side, I did want to point out that they added this extra detail where they use the Korean uh, characters here to spell out Nike in white they printed it on i don't know why they did it on the only on the white uh the right shoe but you know it, it's pretty pretty uh interesting that they did that uh this does not come with an extra set of laces and i can't really comment on sizing because this is actually a women's uh pair and it is in a women's size so there's no way i'm gonna fit this on my feet and tell you the uh, the sizing tip but my general experience with air force one is that you know going true to size should be plenty of room in the toe box area i rarely recommend going half size down with shoes but you might uh you might want to consider going half a half size down if you have super narrow feet but you know that's for the men's version i'm not entirely sure how the women's shoes fit but you know that's just yeah uh, it is what it is so you might want to check other reviews uh if, if possible but you know uh wearability wise i mean for the ladies i don't think this would be a very uh difficult pair to pull off it's just a beige colored um shoe and you know the what i feel <clears throat> about this model is that I think this is, this is pretty universal for a lot of the languages. If you don't know, if you can't really read what's on the uh, on the uh, the particular shoe or, or clothing, I think that makes the letters look much cooler than what they actually mean or stand for. You know, just from an aesthetic standpoint. For for instance, if I look at Japanese characters or even like Chinese characters on, uh, uh, on a particular shoe, I can't read it. And I think that's precisely what makes that uh, the characters themselves look really cool. The shape itself, you know, the, you know, the aesthetic design of it. So for me, it's really special that Nike has, the, the, has used the Korean text on, uh, on an air pair of Air Force Ones. It's just that I can't really enjoy the entire, you know, the aesthetics of the letters because I'm more fixated on the meaning of the the the, the words that are embroidered onto the shoe. If you, you, I'm not really sure if you guys uh, see what I'm getting at, but you know that, that's just me. That's just my opinion. Um, there might be some people who who, who uh, defer, but you know it is what it is. So what I'm trying to say is that I'm not entirely a fan of the 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 model. I appreciate it, what it stands for. Um, I appreciate the fact that Nike pulled this out uh, with two pairs, actually. So it's a really cool shoe. It's just that I don't picture myself um, wearing these in public because a lot of people are going to be able to 
<laughs> read what's on the shoe uh, in my country. And that's going to be pretty awkward. They're going to be like, why does that guy have, you know, like just do it written out in Korean on his shoe? So, you know, I mean, I'm not insecure or anything. It's just it's just kind of funny to me. But from a foreigner standpoint, I think it should be fine. You know, it should be. Uh, I think uh, Korean letters are pretty uh, beautiful if you look at them um from an aesthetic standpoint. So it might be a pretty cool pair to pick up. Um, I'm not really sure if there's any resale value on this particular pair, but there might be some, you know, because if these only released in our country, I imagine the only way that you can get these is, is probably through, you know, resale platforms such as StockX or uh, eBay or something like that. So you might have to pay a small sum, but, you know, it's really nothing substantial. And I think it'd be a nice uh, piece to add to your collection if you're really interested in the shoe. So anyways, um, that's it for today. I'm sorry uh, for not uploading uh, for the past week. It's just that, you know, I was recovering from my vaccine shot. But I promise you that I will be posting a lot more videos uh, really soon because I have... So I think I have like three or four more pairs uh, sitting around, so I'll just do that really, really quickly. But anyways, thanks for watching today. Uh, if you guys uh, enjoyed watching this video, please hit that subscribe button. We're really, really near that 1K mark, so let's get there. I really appreciate all your support, and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.